Okay, so this is me fresh out the shower. I don't have anything on my face whatsoever at the moment. I have just freshly shaved my head. Um, I have done a video about head shaving and stuff, so if you want to go watch that, I'll put a link in the description or a card here that you can click on, so you can go see how I shave my head. Okay, so first of all, I want to pick a pair of contact lenses. Now, I'm really into my white pair at the moment, so like, I love my white eyes, so I'm going to put these ones in. Now, one thing I want to sort of like really stress to people is if you're going to wear contact lenses, make sure you put them in before you do your makeup, because if you put them in after, Especially if you wear like eye makeup when you're putting them in if a tiny bit of speck of makeup gets in the contact lens Or you hit it with your eyelash or something it stings so much when that hit your eye like literally it will sting your eye so much Make sure as well when you put contact lenses in that they are the right way round I will do that eventually in a different contact lens FAQ video about putting them in so just put one in Done. So now that I've done that, it's time to moisturize. Now I use a simple light moisturizer. You can, the lights are so bright, you can barely tell. It's just a simple kind of skin light moisturizer. No, I'm not sponsored by anything in this video, just so you know. This obviously just makes your skin a lot smoother. Also something that's like important is if you don't moisturize, like if you've got bits of dry skin, your foundation will sit in those bits of dry skin and have like, it'll just look really crusty. Now in my previous video I did when it comes to makeup, I use things like cleanser and toner and stuff, but actually I didn't see any difference in my skin whatsoever after after using it so I stopped using it because I felt like I was just spending money on things that don't seem to do anything. So now my face is dry and nice and fabulous now so I'm going to go into my concealer. Now this is to go into like the eye area and like any bits of skin that's slightly darker than normal because like when you put your foundation on sometimes the foundation is not enough just to cover the darker areas. I want all my skin to look completely the same colour. So I put this under my eyes here. Each one. I got a little spot here and here so I'm just going to put that over there. My nose isn't actually that bad. And then put a little bit on my forehead just to lighten that area a bit. Bit down the nose. There we go. So sort of look a bit like this. Ooh, red and drag transformation. <laughs> I wish. You know, I always get comments like when it comes to my drag stuff like that, like I wish I was good at makeup as you. Like all my drag stuff I've done, that's all been done from my friend John. So I'm really, I need to learn how to do makeup like that really, but like I'm just really impatient. Now a lot of people use brushes. I prefer to use my fingers just because I can get it in like better. So now that, that is done, you can see that my eye and like underneath my eyes and stuff are a little bit lighter. I hate having any sort of like colour difference between my eyes and stuff because you know who wants to look tired. So now I'm going to go in with my foundation. This is Dream Liquid Satin from Maybelline New York. This is in colour Cameo which is number 20. Um, is it going to focus? Can you see it? Can you see it? I just put this all over my face. I always do sort of two lines here. Again I don't know how much you can see on camera because I know the lights can kind of wash you out a little bit. So under my eyes under my cheek. So now I've sort of like spread that all over my face, I'm just gonna use my fingers just to blend that all in. Um, again, I use my fingers just because I feel like I get like a better coverage with it. And again with this, I have to go right up the top of my head because if I don't, I get like a funny line here. Like if I followed my hairline, I would literally like ha have like funny colors here. And then blend it down in the neck because you don't want hair lines here. There's nothing weirder or worse than like one color here and another color here, like nay bitch. Now I go to set my foundation with this Powder. This is in colour warm beige. It's by Rimmel London again. Um, I've got like a little powder puff thing that I use. Ever since I started using this like powder puff thing, it's so much better than using a brush. I used to use a brush and I find that I use sort of like wipe off the foundation a bit. But with this, it really pushes the powder into the foundation and into like your pores to make sure you stay matte because I cannot stand looking shiny. I hate it so much. And because I have guy skin, I really am oily. Like I have a lot of oil on my skin so looking shiny is not a cute look. Make sure I look as deceased as possible. I kind of do have a deceased look because I do sort of make myself look quite pale and sort of one colour. Blend it all down here nicely because again you don't want two colours. It's funny whenever I do like a shoot or anything I always got to make sure that I powder like all the way up here because with stage lights it can reflect the light off your head. Now I do just get my fingers and just go over my eyebrows because there's nothing worse as well than powdery eyebrows. Just having a coffee break. Now I'm going to go in with my eyeliner. Now this is my new favourite eyeliner brand because I love really dark eyes. I used to use like a Barry M Cole pencil and the Cole pencils are fine if you want to do it quick. Being on your waterline it would literally just come off within like an hour, it'd be gone. So I've used this Illamasqua black gel eyeliner, I absolutely like it, you probably can't even see it. And I have this little angled brush that I use, really helps you get into like your eye better. I'm very um, generous with the helping to be honest, I don't do it sparingly. This is very much, let's get the eye as dark as I possibly can. So I go right under the waterline, so I just pull the eye down, looks a bit scary. Hello, my name is Roland. So let's just 
slap this on. Do, 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 do. Quickly go over that line one more time. I always find it always applies better on my left eye than it does on my right eye, and I don't know why. It's really weird. Maybe this like like my eyes are different shape. Now I used to put eyeliner all the way to the corner here, but it tends to like clump after a while, and sort of makes it look like got like black sleep in your eye. So I don't really do that very much anymore. I just go right to the end of the waterline, really. So there we go. That is fabulous. I absolutely love this eyeliner. I'm so happy. So that is my eyeliner done. So I don't generally go along the top lash just because I'm really bad at doing it. I've no, I like, I'm just so, I honestly can't do it. I'm just terrible. So I just don't tend to do it. So now I'm going on to my mascara. So I've got some mascara here. Now this has lasted me for years, like actually years. It's been amazing. So I use a Rimmel London Extra Super Lash Mascara. Um, this has lasted me for years. Now before, I used to use this really sparingly again, but now I slap this on because I'm like, I really don't care. Like, if I'm really, I, like, I like the whole dark eyelashes. It's so funny how I've changed over the years because before I didn't like anyone knowing that I had makeup. Like, I used it more to make people think I had flawless skin. Now I'm just going to use this to cut my eyelashes. You know, when I first saw these when I was younger, I thought there was some weird torture device because it does, it looks really scary. So I'm just going to curl my eyelashes. I always have a huge fear as well when I do this that I'm gonna like rip off my eyelashes. Have you seen that like picture on the internet of this girl like this and you see all like the eyelashes along the rim? That like really scares me that one day I'm just gonna do that and then I'm gonna have no eyelashes left. So I'm hoping you can see it, but there's my eyelashes. I absolutely love them. Yeah, so that's most of my eye stuff done. But we're gonna take this even further because I wanna put on some eyelashes and also I want to do my eyebrows. Now I have a big obsession with doing like blue eyebrows. So I'm going to do that right now. I know kind of I need to sort of wear blue contact lenses for that to really work. But I've not done eyebrows in such a long time. So I'm going to do some like blue eyebrows. I'm so excited. Now this is always a hit and miss thing because sometimes I can do them really well and other times I do them and they look horrendous. I've got a nice little angled brush. It, um, I use this, the little tiny sort of angly brush. I would love to tell you things about them, but I really don't know what they are, what they're called. Because there's a deep blue colour here that I'm going to use on my eye. Um, so this is exciting. Now, first of all, I generally map out on my face where I want them to be. So I start here to say that is where my eyeball starts. And then that's the top and that's the bottom. Now the thing is, I don't have shaped eyebrows. I've never put my eyebrows in my life. I need to do it really, but I always get worried that I'll do it too badly. So I just follow that line and just go up like that. And then down. I get so nervous doing this. This is another thing that I really need to practice on because I'm really not good at doing this. I've messed up the end here. This is a bit thick. See, this is why I say it's a bit hit and miss. Sometimes I can do them really well. See, some people say your eyebrows are meant to be sisters, not twins. Mine's sort of like the dad and the family dog. So now that that is done, we're gonna go and do some eyelashes. Yes, be it. So I've got them here. Now, these are starting to break a little bit on me, so I'm gonna have to buy some soon. My last video I did with them all in, you could kind of tell my left one was really like crooked, but it's just because people kept saying, oh, you put it on wonky, but it's actually because it's broken. So I've got these really cool lashes that my friend John gave me after he did my drag makeup the first time. So I'm gonna put one of these on. Now, this is the one thing I've always struggled with. I've never been very good at doing eyelashes. This is another thing that I really need to practice on. So I just put the glue along the edge of the lash. So while that is drying, just blur a little bit, you just, I was told you meant sort of like bend it and just sort of let it flex a little bit. Now this is actually the broken one. You can maybe slightly be able to tell there's like a little kink at the top. It's not completely straight anymore. So when I put this one on, people said, oh, it's, you put it on wonky. It is literally broken. This is another thing that I really love. I love, love, love how much using like eyelashes can really feminize your face. As someone who is like, gender fluid, sometimes I do want to really look girly. And this is the perfect way to do it. Like literally you have massive eyelashes. You can slightly look, sometimes look a bit drag queenish, but like I kind of don't mind that. I got the eyelash here. Now this is obviously the bit that I really struggle with. So I'm gonna try and get this as perfect as possible, but I can't promise anything. So I need to get tweezers really. I don't have any tweezers. That's what I'm down for this. So, so I put the second one on now. And this is one I do tend to struggle with. So please bear with me if it doesn't go on completely straight. Oh, it went down. Oh yes, bitch, yes. That is the best I've ever done them. So my eyelashes are done. Now what I did fear has happened, like this sort of side here, because it's slightly broken, it won't completely curve around the eye like it's sort of sitting a bit straight. So I've just done my makeup for the video. Oh, I'm vlogging and I'm Snapchatting at the same time. Yes, really gasha. I can't follow him on Snapchat. Yes, bitch. <laughs> Callum has just entered the building as I was filming. <laughs> I don't know if the camera 
can see you peering round on us. Hi. Oh, this is cute. Okay, so it's a collab now. So now it's a, now, now watch me do Callum's makeup. This is gay guy, just gay guy's makeup. <laughs> so but I was like, Roland, Roland, can you not use the candles again? Because they're gonna burn down and I, and I, and I need them. And he's like, yeah, sure, that's okay. And I come home. <laughs> All of them! Yeah. I'm trying to raise the dead, Callum. You know, I've really found ever since I've been sort of exploring my gender a lot more and sort of allowing myself to be free. I definitely enjoy looking more genderqueer and non-binary than I do looking male. And it's quite exciting in my life really that I have sort of come to that sort of realization. So this is sort of like the look that I love to be all the time. I'm starting to really dislike my masculine side. So if you want any more like videos like this, please let me know down below what else you'd like me to do. Please hit the like button because it does really help me out. And I'll see you all very soon for another video. Yeah, bye! What would you order in McDonald's? KFC! Should you come out at school if you know you're going to get bullied? If you really want to, come out, but as long as you're confident, you have to be confident.